So the PS3, PS4, how do they perform differently? The short of it is, the PS4 is way better. There are a number of reasons as to why. Uh, for one, it's got eight gigabytes of RAM, which is 16 times the amount that the PlayStation 3 have. And that's going to probably give it a lot of longevity and it's gonna give developers a lot of room to play with when they're developing games four or five years down the line when they really wanna push the hardware to its limits. Uh, it's got a bunch of other little uh, component upgrades in there that really play a part besides the very generalized, better processors um, and better graphics uh, capabilities. You have 802.11n, which would uh, give you increased network performance over you know, the standard 802.11b and g, which is like sort of what the internet's been based on for a couple of years now. And it's got a Blu-ray player that is three times as fast, which means it'll be able to read the content off of the games um, much faster than the PlayStation 3 did. It also has a lot of software upgrades that sort of increase performance. So for instance, the PlayStation 4, as a standard policy, installs every game that you put into it. Uh, it does that because reading a game off of a hard drive is a lot faster than reading a game off of a disc. Uh, this was something that some developers could utilize last generation, but now all developers have to utilize. And what that's going to mean is that games are going to have a lot less loading involved in it. So in general, that's just sort of going to increase how the game performs. I think the real takeaway here is that all of these little performance upgrades sort of come together. And what they do is they give you a system that really sort of earns the name of a next-gen console gaming experience.